Alright, time for the next weapon category, the machine pistols. And the first one is the ammo box 50. box 50 pretty much just like the vc 61 it's very small has a lot of ammo and i'm pretty sure it's particularly weak but who knows let's test the ammo box 50 on a joe avo <laughs> Alright, so between 10 and 12 shots from the ammo box 50 to take down a standard Joavo. Reminds me a lot of the VZ-61 from Resident Evil 5. It's one weak ass machine gun, but hey, it does have a high capacity so you could shoot for a while before you have to finally reload. Alright, that is it for the ammo box 50 machine pistol. <laughs> We're beyond humanity. Now for the next and last machine pistol, the machine pistol accurate fire, or just MPAF. So if this machine pistol has alternate fire, you could either have semi-automatic or automatic. Alright, let's test the MPAF on a Chihuahua. <laughs> Alright, so pretty much every single enemy I, g I tested that on, it took 10 shots. So a similar firepower to the ammo box 50, but apparently slightly more powerful in the long run. And also, it does have semi-automatic and automatic firing modes. So depending on the situation, you could use it to your advantage. Alright, that is it for the MPAF machine pistol, as well as all machine pistols. CHRIS!
time for the assault rifles, and the first one is the assault rifle for special tactics. Now, I'm pretty sure only Chris Redfield can use this assault rifle. So based on that, this looks like it's probably the heaviest firing machine gun in the game. Alright, let's test the assault rifle for special tactics on a Joavo. <laughs> Alright, so between five and six shots from the assault rifle for special tactics, or ARFST, which I would rather call it, to take down a standard Chihuahua. So obviously, being an assault rifle, not a machine pistol, it is much more powerful than the previous two machine guns I, I reviewed. That is it for the ARFS, or the assault rifle for special tactics. Ada. for the next assault rifle, the Bear Commander. Now, this assault rifle is very unique when it comes to the Resident Evil series. It's the first rifle to feature a grenade launcher attachment to it. You can only fire one type of round unlike the regular grenade launcher, but it's still interesting to have. Now, usually I would show an explosive during the explosive type of weapons, but since it's part of the assault rifle here, I'm just going to show it here and now. So let's test the Bear Commander out both ways. So, I'm gonna test the machine gun part of the Barrack Commander on Joavo, obviously. But I'm gonna test the grenade launcher part on a Whopper. Alright, so between 5 and 7 shots from the Bear Commander to take down a standard Joavo. So it has either the same firepower as the Arvst or one point of damage less because there was an instance there where it took a seventh shot before Joavo started transforming and just like the previous two Resident Evils, if someone transforms, that was usually the time they would have died if they didn't transform. But anyway, five to seven shots, so either the same firepower or like one point of damage less. It's very, very similar. I wonder if the damage is based on the ammo in this game is rather than the weapon. But then again, I highly doubt it because in the handguns, the 909 was much more powerful than the other three handguns. Alright, that is it for the assault rifle part of the Bear Commander. Now I'll test the grenade launcher part on a Whopper. Alright, so two explosive grenade rounds from the Bear Commander to take down a Whopper. Now, I will not be surprised when I get to the grenade, actual regular grenade launcher that the explosive rounds take the same amount. I highly doubt it matters what weapon it's fired from. But yeah, it's a really good attachment to an assault rifle. Those are some really powerful grenade rounds. All right, that is it for the Bear Commander as a whole. Now for the last assault rifle. The Assault Rifle RN. 
Now, in campaign, you can only use this in Leon's scenario. And actually, I believe only Leon and Helena can use this weapon. Not entirely sure. In campaign, that's a fact. So the Assault Rifle RN has a bayonet at the end of it, which you could use as a melee move. And it replaces several other melee moves. I will show all of them, but for now let's normally test the weapon on a Joavo. <laughs> So four to seven shots from the assault rifle RN to take down Ojoavo. So this weapon has a wide range of firepower. It could be though uh, all the machine guns have the same firepower. I mean, it, it's all in the same range, seriously. But like, each one has something different about it. The assault rifle for special tactics is just an assault rifle in itself. The bear commander has a grenade launcher attachment and the Assault Rifle RN has a bayonet attached to it. So, I don't know if there's really any firepower difference. You guys could tell me in the description if you know more about it. Otherwise, according to this test, all the Assault Rifles have close to the same amount of firepower, but according to this test I just did, the Assault Rifle RN has the widest range. Alright, so that is it for testing out the Assault Rifle. Now I'll show you everything you could do with the bayonet attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that is it for the assault rifle RN, as well as all machine guns, machine pistols, assault rifles alike.